Hi, right, TK Viper here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a teddy bear with a handkerchief and some rubber bands or hair ties. These are both items from the 100 yen store, Daiso, so they're a dollar each. I chose these mini ones, and I'm going to use the pink ones to blend with the color of the handkerchief. So first choose the right size, I would say 9 by 9 or 10 by 10 inch would be a perfect size. And choose the fluffy side to be the exterior of your bear. So I'm going to roll this end all the way to the center line. Make sure it's kind of tight, but not too tight. And hold this in place while we roll the other end to the center as well. And most importantly, make sure that you apply the same amount of pressure and make it as tight as the other row so that we have a good symmetry. Check both ends, make sure they are about the same size and uh, they're what you're happy with. If not, then we'll have to re roll one of the sides. So I think uh, the, the right one is kind of loose, as you can see there. So we're going to redo that side. So it usually takes about two or three tries to get the results that you want. It took me two times this time. I think uh, sometimes it takes longer. But just keep rolling until you're happy. And for this video, we're just going to save some time and just just to give you the idea on how to do it. Alright, so if you're happy, hold the two ends down with uh, some rubber bands. This will save you a lot of trouble. You won't have to, you know, readjust as much later on when the rows become looser and looser. The first time I made this, I didn't use rubber bands, so uh, the results weren't so good. So. That's why I came up with this idea to hold down the rows with rubber bands. All right, the next step is very important. We're gonna twist it at around 60% right here. So just twist this around and then we're gonna fold it over almost in half. We wanna leave some space down there on the right because that's going to be your leg area. Okay, so your arms up here and then your legs are down here. Okay, next uh, I'm going to readjust this a little bit to tighten it. As you can see, the rubber bands help save this row from completely unrolling. Alright, next we're going to decide where we want the neck to be. Use a rubber band or a hair tie just to Hold it in place. You can adjust the size of the head as you like. I'm going to pull this down a little bit so I can have a, a bigger head area. Just a little bit. And now what you want to do is to uh, separate the two rows here and create some space in the middle for the face. So make sure that uh, the top here is leveled so you might want to pull the right side up a little bit those are going to be your ears and the middle is going to be your face okay so you can see I have some space between the two rows in the middle okay and to make the face stick out be more fluffy we're gonna stick some tissue here you can use cotton or cloth if you want just stick enough so that the face sticks out like that. Okay, and now we're going to shape the ears. Just pinch a little bit to form the shape of the ear on both sides. And then use another hair tie. And there you have it, some ears. So these hair ties are very small so I just wrap it one time. I mean if you have bigger rubber bands you might need to 
grab it twice. So notice uh, the color of the rubber band blends in with the handkerchief, so that's important. If you can, find some clear ones. I'm going to stuff more in there so that uh, the face puffs out even more. And maybe some on the top. So the dome pops out. Okay, and now we're going to take this hair scrunchie. You can also use a ribbon to decorate your bear. So for this video, to keep it simple, I'm just going to use this. Tie it around three times. And there we have the bear. Basically almost done. Make sure everything lines up nicely. Not too messy. I might need to do the, the bow again. It's not staying. But I'll do that later on. For now you get the idea. Okay, and now we can release the rubber bands and then spread out the arms just like that and the legs a little bit. And that's basically it. You can do more by shaping it. Yeah, this time I did a really poor job with that bow tie right there. And also the ears, I think they're too big. So just keep re you know adjust stuff, make sure you're happy with the result. So this is the most simple uh, version. You can add more stuff if you want, if you have time. You can add some eyes, add a nose, make it cuter. You can sew the ears instead of using rubber bands. So even more unnoticeable. So I'm gonna redo this ear. For the purpose of the video, I kept my hands clean. I cut off all my nails, so it made things a little bit harder. Nails are very important for doing stuff like this. Okay, so I'm gonna, you know, stop here. I think this is pretty good. It's a nice way to make a decoration for your house. A little teddy bear for your kids. It's a fun project you can do with your, your daughters. And just, you know, set these around the house, hang them on the walls. It's only $2, so f affordable and fun. And another suggestion is to maybe sew the belly down and then put some cotton to make the belly stick out like this. That would take it to another level, like that. So I think we did a pretty good job. Choosing the right colors is important. If you want a pink one, get a pink handkerchief. And likewise, uh, choose something more like a traditional teddy bear, a brown color. All right, that's all. We're done here. Please like the video and subscribe to my channels. TK Viper, TK Viper Tech, and Japan Rainwalker, TK Viper. Have a good day. I'll see you next time.